Local residents build their homes with wood and bamboo branches in the hopes of being able to sleep at night. He used to live in a tent which was low and covered with canvas. The structure was similar to this, which was built with a simple wooden frame and covered with canvas. In fact, the grandfather's previous shelter was lower than this, and it was as high as this one. He used the canvas as the roof, and he lived below it. After Tzidi distributed building materials, there is a group of Namatanda volunteers who continue to build shelters for the elderly or the people who are in poor health. Namatanda volunteers told us that it was we who built the shelter for the grandmother. Like this bamboo, it was brought by us, and this tarp was left behind by our previous free clinic. We left it here for local volunteers to use. They can use the tarp to build shelters for those who need help. Volunteer Manuel can speak English and has been serving as a translation volunteer since May. He also assesses the disaster damage along with the volunteers. He does not expect that he can also change himself through the process of giving. When I joined in Sushi Foundation, something is changed. For example, uh, I never tell somebody thank you because of uh, giving something. But I, I learned that it's good to say thank you because you give something and he receive it. So you have to say thank you. But uh, before, no. I was saying I can say thank you if you give him something. You see? So it means that I changed it. Although Manu is also one of the disaster-affected residents, he cherishes his ability to work and help others. In Namatanda, Manu is not the only local volunteer who has learned the happiness of giving. Many of the locals have joined the volunteers to help prepare for distributions. The spirits of self-help and mutual assistance is being constructed in Metuhira.